Hello, my name is Cindy Shelton. I'd like to welcome you to class, uh, first day of summer school, and show you how to navigate our website a little bit. If you've had any trouble with that, just talk to you a little bit. So first of all, you can get to Blackboard by logging on to our website. There's other ways to get there, but um, this is how I usually do it. I log on to uh, ACTC's ashland.kctcs.edu website. Then you have options along student self-serve. If you just um, haven't uh, been at the college before to know this, that's where we keep your registration, your student information, all of the um, things like that. User account center if you ever forget your password and need to reset it. Email, go to your email account. Blackboard, help contact us. Well, Blackboard is where we're going to go for the classwork. So you log into, click on Blackboard, and you should see a list of all the courses in which you're enrolled. Mine's really messy, so yours should look much cleaner. But um, your class uh, for this summer session, summer session 4182-150Z1, you click on that. Then it opens up your course um, platform here. You'll see along the left-hand side some uh, tabs. Announcements is the uh, automatic default. It comes up with the announcements. I've shown you how to get on tech support. If you're having any trouble with My Labs Plus, the two main things that happen throughout the semester is, number one is the browser. Uh, I found Google Chrome seems to be the most helpful. Uh, but you can also get on with uh, Firefox and other browsers, but uh, Google Chrome is the recommended one. And then uh, the other thing is sometimes your browser history within Google Chrome or your cache, they get too full and you have to clear those out and restart your computer. If those two things, either one of those work, there is a number, call your tech support number and let them walk you through uh, see what's going on. Sometimes the program's just down. That doesn't happen very often. I'll, I'll have to say it's pretty rare that the Pearson program is actually down, but it does happen. So feel free to email me or post to the discussion board and say, hey, classmates, are you having any trouble? That way you can kind of see if everyone's having trouble, then it's probably Pearson. But if it's just you, it's probably your computer. Um, okay, so then, so there's announcements. Start here where you'll find your syllabus and other information just um paperwork about the classroom um, and notice that we do have services available to you I never want you to feel like just because you're online that you don't have access to all these things you may not want to come to the uh, campus and take advantage of them but know that you are just as um, uh, as important to us as the on-campus students and all these services are there for you as well you can come in for the tutoring service I feel like a lot of my online students don't do that as much but Know that it's there for you. If you would want to come in, we do have a tutorial uh, program uh, through our student support services. You'll see this first link to talk about that if you're an Ashland student. And all campuses have such services, so do know that that is for online as well as on campus. All right, so of course the syllabus and the class schedule, you'll find those links. You can click on those and they'll download to your computer. Uh, there is a suggested class schedule uh, just to let you know, this is such a condensed class, uh, it's really going to work you hard to get through it in the time frame. You'll have to stay on some sort of schedule um, to monitor yourself that you don't get too far behind. I'm not requiring any certain due dates. Just get it all done by the end since it is such a short period of time. I just didn't even mess with that. I just said get it done. Pace yourself though. You probably want to do one to two sections You'll need to average about two sections a day of material uh, to get through it in the timely manner. So um, please be aware of that. All right, content tab. We'll, there's some videos within some of these. You'll see I, I videotape some of my class lectures and those are available not, not in chapter R. I don't have any tape there, but starting in chapter one, you'll see some videos and on through. So that's where you can find more information about the content. And then uh, communication. There are different modes of communication for online. Uh, the one I use uh, probably the most is discussion board. Within discussion board, right now I just have an introduce yourself. Uh, and that's just really optional. You don't have to do that. I'm not counting the discussion board for points in this class this semester. Uh, so you, you can or not use that. I, I guess 
probably more than discussion board is I use email. You can contact me through email. There's also course messaging and through announcements. Um, all right. But anytime you, you have a question, email is probably the quickest way to get me. I do see those immediately on my phone, so um, uh, and I try to get back to you just as soon as possible. Um, the library link, my grades, you won't find a lot here because I do uh, put your grades within the My Labs Plus program. So it's just a statement here to say you won't find your grades in the Blackboard program. They will be listed in your My Labs Plus and then a couple of help tabs here. Double help, help, help. All right, so the main tab you'll probably use most of the time to do your work is My Labs Plus. I like to right click and open in a new tab just so I can go back and forth if I want to between Blackboard and that. So notice it opens in a new tab to Pearson. I hope that's great. Um, so I'm going to experience uh, one of those issues that I was just telling you about. I, I might need to clear my cache. Um, but I think I'm in, I'm in Google Chrome. So anyway, um, let me continue my talk with you and just tell you once you open your My Labs Plus, uh, it should open in this separate tab. And um, then you'll find all the information about your course in, in there. There will be um, homework problems. There will be quizzes. Uh, you will take a final exam in this class uh, at the very end. Um, that's the only proctored exam is the final. The midterm, you will have a midterm exam, but you'll be able to take that from your home computer. It is timed. Um, it is a two-hour time test. And um, I think I'll come back to you and tell you more about the testing a little bit later in another announcement, but that's um, going to get you started at least to find what um, the information about the course uh, that you need to get started. So feel free to contact me if you have any further questions, and I'll be talking to you soon. Okay, so I wanted to continue on with my talk about um, uh, opening My Labs Plus. Uh, last I talked to you, it would not open, and now just reloading it worked. I don't know why it didn't open the first time, but now it's opening just fine. So sometimes it's like that, but uh, overall it's a very dependable program. I, I think you'll not be frustrated with it too bad. It, it's usually pretty reliable. All right, so. Um, Inside of your My Labs Plus, you have various links, assignment, um, and yours may look a little different than mine, by the way, from the instructor's view, but you will be able to get in. Let me go back and see. You will have assignments uh, where you can see everything um, that's due for the full semester. You can scroll through if you ask it to look at the entire course. Um, E-text is where you see your textbook. View e-text, you can read your textbook pages. Gradebook to see how your grade is calculating as you go along. Um, I'm going to open up a, pr a problem within my view, uh, assignment manager for me. All right, so let me pull this down a little bit. First thing on your list you'll see is a syllabus quiz. I do ask you to take a syllabus quiz just to ensure that you've read your syllabus and understand the rules for the class. Um, and what my name is. So you'll see a syllabus quiz that is due by this Friday. So let me know you're there and alive and working. Then you'll see uh, notes and study aids. So uh, notes and study aids are just um, optional things for you. They are assigned so you, you can get in there and, and as soon as you open it, it gives you a click, but it's not required for a grade or anything. But there'll be PowerPoints, videos, the textbook, all kinds of of opportunities for you to learn the material and I do suggest that you do that uh, before you open the first homework problem you try to get your mind around the big picture of what the chapter is about through the, the learning of the material as if you were in a real life class you would learn the material first and then you would attempt some homework so try to do that I feel like a lot of students want to jump right into the homework assignment and start getting some points but I think it's time well spent to get your mind around it a little bit first and then proceed to the homework so then our point three, now this is actually a sign, but it's not in your grading. Your actual content starts in 1.1. So know that R3 through R.7, that's the review chapter, and it's a great and mighty chapter. But if you feel like you're um, uh, already ready to start the material, you can start in 1.1. So that's where the book actually starts, where it's assigned and for points. So then you've got chapter one, notes and study aids, and then 1.1. 
Let's open up a homework problem just to experience that. In 1.1, 1 .1, let's, um, let's preview that. So your homework shows up like so. Question number one. Everyone's question number one should look similar to this. You'll have a place to fill in the final answer and some um, tabs open to help you if you need some symbols. You won't on this one, I don't think. But if you don't know how to work it, you can ask it for question helps. Help me solve this. View the example. We'll work you through a similar problem. Um, animation, sometimes there's some helps. Video sometimes is on there. I don't see on this one. Textbook, if you want to read the page. Ask the instructor if you say, hey, I, I've done everything you've asked me. I just don't have, an, have a clue. And maybe we can talk, verbally talk it out on the phone. Print, print the problem out and ask a friend. So you'll work that. You'll get three tries. You'll get very used to this and so on. So there's 13 questions in 1.1. And like I said, I would suggest you probably do about two sections a day to stay on, on a target to finish. So you'll do their, your homework 1-1 one, one through 1 1.8 for chapter 1. Then there will be a study guide. A study guide for the first test, or I'm calling them quizzes, your chapter 1 quiz. And I'm just going to double check my settings on that. I have limited you to two attempts um, for each quiz. I wanted to show you in, in the settings that everything is due 6.15 at midnight for this class. All right, and you have two hours to take the test, two attempts on each quiz. Then you proceed to chapter two. And I suggest you keep really good notes because this class, it rolls together and you wind up taking um, test over the same stuff, you know, where math is like that, it, the, the material grows upon it, uh, the former lessons. So keep good notes, good organized notes. So you do the same thing for chapter two, then you'll have a midterm study guide where you wrap up one and two together, and then a midterm quiz that will include one and two. Same thing for all quizzes, you will have two attempts, two hours each attempt. And then you do chapter three, chapter four, and five is just five one and five five. Then you'll have a final study guide and your final exam. Uh, and you can take that anytime you're ready, um, but um, um, it is due by the 15th of June. Everything is officially due. You can work ahead if you get done early. Bless your hearts, it's going to be hard too because it's a lot of material in a short amount of time. But um, uh, keep that in mind. You, you can work ahead and take your final early if, um, if you're able to do that. So um, that's all I can think of for the main um, deal with how the class operates. Um, if I've forgotten anything, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Best wishes for great success.